I live in a condo in sunny California. My name is Amy Serrano. Yes, like the pepper. I'm 28 years old. I believe in taking care of myself and a balanced diet and a rigorous exercise routine. In the morning, if my face is a little puffy, I'll put on rejuvenating eye gels infused with caffeine and hydrolyzed collagen while working on my body rolls. I can do a thousand now. In the shower, I have a tough choice to make with which shampoo and conditioner to use. I go for the Brazilian blowout formula to prolong my blowout. As I let the conditioner penetrate, I apply a coconut oil and coffee body scrub. Smells so nice. For the face, I apply a pH balanced milky jelly cleanser. I then use a seven oil blend body wash, which has the perfect slip for a nice close shave. I rinse my hair and body and throw my hair in a turban made of lightweight material with superior water wicking capabilities. To nourish and hydrate my body, I use this body cream rich in indigo and silk. Then apply a holographic hydrating mask. It has alcohol in it, but I really needed a peel off mask for this bit, so I'm using it anyways. Makes for a great selfie. I then prepare the rest of my routine. There is an idea of an Amy Serrano, some kind of abstraction, but there is no real me, only an entity, something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable, I simply am not there. But we are here. Welcome to one of my medicine cabinets, guys. Yes, I did say just one. I have more than one. I totally feel like a complete psycho for owning this much product. I am a complete product junkie, but also a disclaimer is that I do get a lot of PR, so I didn't buy everything here. I'm very fortunate and super grateful that companies send me products so I can test and share with you guys. And yeah, so it has gotten a little bit out of control because of that but I have always been a product junkie through and through so let's go ahead and start I literally have like PTSD from this because you guys it fell uh, a week ago or so like this entire thing just came so my dad came and he like reinforced it and I was able to replenish everything back but I lost a few bottles some glass bottles broke unfortunately um, yeah I'm like a little nervous to pack this in that's why I have two medicine cabinets and I disperse the product so it's not super heavy. Anyways, it's enough talking. I know you guys want to see the product. So let's start at the top of the top shelf. This is the Elta MD. I would really recommend it. The only thing is that it does pill, but it's a great, great one. That's why I keep it around, even though I have like 10 sunscreens at a time. This one I haven't used yet. This is a really great toner. Prior to falling in love with this one by Fresh, I used to use this all the time, and it's a great one because it's alcohol free. Bioderma, I can't quit this stuff. I've owned several bottles. So next up is this. They actually sent it to me. That's why it has my name on it. And I haven't really been using it that much, but I owned so, so, so many of these tonics. This is called Baja Bay. I love the whole aesthetic of this. It's so cute. It's a bronzing lotion. I really love the scent of this. It's just a lotion and it took a tumble in the fall. We had an injury here. This one is so nice after yoga. I really love to use this. This really helps with muscle soreness and I really love the scent of it. It's very medicinal kind of a scent. So I love that. That's by Ren. Oh my gosh, this you guys is awesome. This is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. It's made with rice enzyme powders. It's so, so gentle. And it also has salicylic acid, so it's going to help like prevent breakouts or it's going to help with breakouts. This pre-cleanse, I don't really use too much anymore, but it's just an oil-based cleanser. I really love this one by Pharmacy when I have a lot, a lot of makeup. And then this one I recently bought. It's a cloud cleanser. It's so cool. Let me show you. Look at that texture. It is a cloud in there and it just removes makeup. This I haven't even taken out of the packaging because it's the cutest packaging. I just really want to photograph it. It's more, it's just more pretty than anything, but it does have rose water and I love that. Um, these guys, I won't even really mention they're bomb, but they're discontinued. 
We're from Bath and Body Works. This is by Cora Organics and it is an energizing mist. It seriously wakes me up and puts me in the best mood. It's like a citrus scent. I love that in the mornings. Moving on to the next tier, we have some products here from Tatcha that I've been absolutely loving. Their cleansing camellia oil. Their essence is awesome. I've been really loving this. And this polish. So it's kind of similar in a sense to this where it has like the rice enzyme. Super, super gentle. And actually this one is the more gentle formula, so my face freaking loves it. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It got a little bit of a makeover with one of my favorite artists, actually, one of my favorite fashion illustrators, Blair. This cleanser I've been using on and off for years. I really love it. It's one of those go-tos, always consistent. It's gentle, but it really does a good job of taking off makeup as well. This I have been loving, you guys. Oh my gosh, and it's pretty affordable. I got it at Riley Rose. Forgot how much I paid for it, but I freaking love this cream. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Embroilies. This is actually my favorite daytime moisturizer, the Embroilies, and the Dr. Frog reminds me a lot of it. It's just cheaper. What's really cool about this one is that it has that centella. Oh my gosh, I freaking butchering the ingredient. It's what's known as tiger grass. Basically, tigers roll around in this grass and it heals their wounds and they put it in a lot of Korean skincare so I feel like it really helps with scarring and just my overall texture I freaking love it it's like one of my faves already this line they sent these to me it's glow the hydra radiance unfortunately the pump is messed up so I haven't really been using it but it's cool because it has like light reflecting particles that look really beautiful on the skin and the vitamin E essential cream I really love as well It kinda like reminds me of this consistency as far as the thickness goes like it's not super rich but it definitely feels very moisturizing and it has that vitamin E which I love it's so good for your skin fresh peony brightening facial toner I like the fresh rose water a bit better but what I liked about this is that it is brightening and it evens the skin tone but I haven't really been re reaching for that one as much to be honest and then the Glossier solution you guys I had a full video like a video diary and I lost that footage my chip the my memory card got totally destroyed so I'm kind of bitter about that but it's really great I think it helps with like an overall with your overall skin complexion as far as like brightening goes and definitely a lot more smooth. I like to use this when my skin is feeling very congested. And then I have this mask by Caudalie. It's glycolic. I think my skin likes more lactic acid, so it's really not my favorite. Summer Fridays, I love this mask, you guys. Definitely worth the hype. I love all of the clean ingredients in it. My face just feels really good about using this because it's just very hydrating and it really makes your skin feel silky smooth. I have a full video about this. It's like my only hair thing in here, but I think it's just because it's so pretty. Pretty. I love the packaging on that. And then I have my Caudalie, the elixir oil. I really love using oils when my face is feeling dry. This is like a holy grail Caudalie product. This is the beauty elixir spray. Love, 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 love this. I have another bottle over on my counter, which I will show you guys those products too. Haven't really played with that. This is an awesome, awesome rose water spray. It is the most hydrating. I think it's because it also has the coconut. It is amazing. I really doubted this line because I saw how expensive their coconut oil was and I was like, what the hell? That's crazy. It's coconut oil. But this, I would definitely recommend. The Drunk Elephant TLC Night Serum. It has a 12% 12 blend, so I believe this one has glycolic and lactic acid, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to double check, but my face loves that one. Ledoux, this is my best friend's line. I love a rose water spray. I just love rose water. Kula Sun Silk Drops. Absolutely love the formulation of the sunscreen, and I really love Kula products in general because as you can see it says 70% organic and I don't know I've just been really paying attention to some of the ingredients in my skincare now at least those things that I do use every single day so sunscreen I use every single day and this works beautifully under makeup so been absolutely obsessed with that and then I have some goodies here by Asarai and I love this oil oh my gosh it is so nourishing and back there is the response therapy which is a serum I haven't really been playing with that one too too much but it's nice consistency and then part of the line is this earth tones mask which is a red clay and I love red clay masks I feel like they are so detoxifying so been playing with those recently. These are little like daily vitamins. They're like chocolate. Um, it has CBD oil in it. 
so it's supposed to like, I don't know, help with stress, I guess. I just think it's super cute and they're delicious. This is a CBD oil salve that my friend hooked me up with because I get really bad period cramps and it really does help relieve any muscle tension, even if like if you're sore or you like, have a headache, it's awesome. And it doesn't make you high or anything like that. <laughs> Moving on to some moisturizers. So I have two moisturizers here that are like meant for exfoliation. So again, when my skin is congested, love, love, love this night cream by Ledoux. It's called the Z Cream and I like to use it even in the daytime. 100% favorite eye cream. Oh my gosh, my hands are so tired. I think my arms are so tired from holding the camera. This one's really cool because it has a peptide, so I like to use this to just kind of rebuild the skin barrier. And this one, I'm like, whatever about. It feels so amazing on the skin, but I just like don't know if what it does, like what it, how it's working, you know what I mean? But I mean, it feels so, so soothing on the skin. It's made with green tea. This. I get some redness prior to putting, like, I have some makeup on right now, so I do get, like, some redness here on my cheeks, so this totally cancels that redness out. It's the Dr. Jart Tigergrass Camo Drops. Let me show you guys this because it's very cool. Color is like that, and it's very, very lightweight, and it's kind of like a primer, I guess you can say. So you just put that on, and it really helps to cancel out that redness, and then you can put on makeup or not. Mm, smells so good, too. I love that medicinal kind of a scent. So then I have the green line from Sunday Riley, which really focuses on acne-prone skin. Out of everything, I really, really love the UFO clarifying oil because usually products that are supposed to treat acne really dry out your skin. And they do have one that's very drying. It has the sulfur, which I like to use as like a spot treatment. What's really nice about this is that it has 1.5 salicylic acid, which is a pretty good percentage, but it's like with an oil. So it's actually pretty hydrating, but it's a fast drying oil. So it's not going to like linger on your skin. I really would recommend out of everything, I think I would recommend this the most. Moving on, we have Autocorrect. I love this eye cream for daytime. It has like a pearly kind of finish to it, so I really like this one in the daytime. But honestly, the fresh one takes the cake for me. Let's see how it has like light reflecting properties, so it really helps to brighten. And then I have these creams here from Tatcha. This one I would recommend if you're combo oily. This one I would recommend if you are normal dry or maybe as like a night cream. It's very rich, but I personally love that. I'm very dry skin. But this, because it is still super hydrating, even though it's very lightweight, like look at this consistency, you guys. It's like very cool. So I put some here. As soon as you start to rub it in, it like transforms into water. It is the craziest consistency. It just keeps getting thinner and thinner as you rub it in and that's why it's called the water cream. I feel like this is gonna be my jam for the summertime where I do tend to get a little more oily in my T-zone. So now we move on to this next row. So, oh, you guys. Can we talk about this little baby? In those really dry months of winter, my skin is so flaky and like I can tell when I'm putting on makeup, like the makeup's not going on as smooth. This seriously smoothed out my face incredibly. It's like a dream honestly it's like clouds it's bomb you guys it's so bomb this one is the black tea firming overnight mask did i already come out with my favorites i'm coming out with favorite soon and this is absolutely at the top of that list a new skincare hero for sure i love fresh then i have the glossier priming moisturizer rich which is a great cream as well. I've talked a lot about it in last year. Um, so moving on, it is the Dr. Dennis Gross, the Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. Really strong, really effective. I used to love, 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 love these before I started um, my YouTube channel. Like, I would say like maybe three years ago, I was like all for them. Looks like they got a makeover, but they, they're very effective. I love this cream too. I bought this at the Caudalie Boutique and she literally just had me try it like this on my arm. I was like sold because I just know the textures that I love for for cream. This was also during a time that I was like hella dry. Another stick that I got from Milk. This is their watermelon bright brightening serum. So what's really cool is you just swipe across your face 
and it kind of gives you like a little bit of a dewy look so I like to use this before makeup baby facial you know I like the TLC serum a lot better this one has 25% AHA and 2% BHA super strong very effective but I think my skin just likes something a little bit more gentle and then I have the tan Lux the body and the face and then these are in like medium dark these work these are so so good I finally figured out like the ratio to moisturizer that I need to do so that I look like nice and natural it was definitely a few times of trial and error it just gives your skin like an overall tan and overall glow I have this little lip caramel balm oh, so so bomb oh what's really nice about the Acerai is it comes with a little Turnkey, how cute is that? Oh, I haven't used it yet, but I will. Maybe, maybe for my toothpaste though. So now moving on to some serums. I have a few here from Ledoux, so let's just talk about those real quick. There's so many yummy ingredients in the Ledoux products. This one, I love that it has marula oil. I love, love, love marula oil. I spent some time in Kenya. The entire time I was there, I was like, where's the marula oil? Where's the marula? I need to get the marula oil. And all they could tell me was like, I think that's like what the elephants get drunk off. And I was like, oh my gosh, I get why Drunk Elephant named it Drunk Elephant. It was just like a, oh, a realization moment. But marula oil is so amazing for the skin. So that is just one of the many oils that you can find in the royal oil. Then she also has the niacinamide, which I believe has been discontinued, and the vitamin C serum. And then she also has the hyaluronic acid, which is my favorite from the three. And then same with the Glossier ones. I used to have all the supers, but I just repurchased the hyaluronic acid. It's just so plumping, and I don't know, I love hyaluronic acid, especially because I am very dry. But like everybody can introduce hyaluronic acid. It's not just for dry girls. This product I love from The Ordinary. I don't know what the hell is going on with The Ordinary, though, you guys. The, what is going on over there? But this is one of my favorite products from The Ordinary skincare hero if you guys want to take a look at that video and also like I mentioned the marula oil I absolutely love the marula oil so it's another one of my favorite products from the ordinary and then this is a Mio Mio Tweet underarm primer if you're transitioning into natural deodorants I would say this is like a good little thing to also include into your little armpit routine times your armpit for deodorant you know you, oh, you need a primer as well you guys this is this is great no I really like this and I sometimes just use this alone without the deodorant the overnight glow serum I love this notice results right away and then I have this I have been meaning to open this up and try it out it is a bar of Umbrian clay which is an ingredient found in Italy yeah, I forget what the story how the story went but they were using it wash their face and use it as a mask and all kinds of stuff with it and it really really did wonders for their skin it's really great for like acne prone skin again I haven't tried it but they even said you can brush your teeth with it so I need to really get into this I was really excited about the story and then I just haven't gotten around to it and then I have these guys from way it's for dry hair um, I always forget to take them I probably shouldn't keep them in here and then I have these little makeup remover wipes by RMS they're basically just coconut oil in a towelette I just run it under water very quickly Quickly, and then I start taking off my makeup takes off all of my makeup amazingly and what's nice is that it has the moisturizing properties from the coconut oil so sometimes I don't even like go in and double cleanse I just like go to sleep and I feel like it's clean literally these are like my lazy girl favorite thing in the world or like if I stay the night unexpectedly like I always have this in my bag because if I spend the night somewhere unexpectedly and I don't have like my you know toiletries or anything like that I can just still have like my skin is feeling good you know some panty liners here Lola I love Lola for tampons this body cream is amazing you guys another Tatcha favorite Tatcha I mean they really spoiled me with their care package and I've been loving so much of their stuff look at how cool the color is in there it's purple smells so good smells like tatcha goodness really leaves my body super super soft and then i have the fresh deep hydration face cream you can probably tell that i love moisturizer that's like what i keep the most of and masks 
I love masks, so I'm going to take you guys over to my other cabinet to show you the mask. But here are some of my favorite masks from Fresh. This one I love. It's the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. It's like clouds on your face. I swear, it's so good. It's like so minty fresh. The Umbrian Clay is the same thing that's like made out of here, just in a mask form. So it's great to detoxify and just like deep clean your skin. I like to do this every so often as well. The Peony Brightening Night Treatment Mask is nice because you can just leave over night and then you wake up to a brighter complexion. This one is great because of its exfoliating properties. And then I recently bought this because I was breaking out. It didn't work like amazingly, but it's I. Right. And then this little facial roller I found at this store called like Mizon or something like that. I don't even remember what it's called. Something, it's like a Japanese store and it was very cheap. It was like $3. And then I have my jade roller here. So that is everything that is in this cabinet. And then I have some gentle cleansers in my shower. Glossy Milky Jelly is a staple. I didn't have it for like one month or something like that and I just had to buy it again because I love it. It's like my one of my rider dyes. This exfoliate skincare hero. Love that one. And then I have the Umbrian Clay Exfoliant, which it is a bit abrasive, so I like to kind of dilute it with either the Milky Jelly Cleanser or the Soy Cleanser, anything gentle, basically. Like I said, I just repurchased the Milky Jelly Cleanser, but this I have been using a lot. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great, great, great product. This, the Dermalogica Milky Jelly, the Soy, and this Pure Lease one, which I ran out of, those are my like, favorite cleansers, just because anything gentle, basically. Like I mentioned, I have this. This one also took a tumble, unfortunately. We had a casualty. Favorite favorite toner, for sure. I already expressed my love for the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And then the Dewy Mist is awesome. Body Hero. This is my deodorant of choice. How looks is that? I'm telling you, everything that Tatcha does is just goals and then I love this this one has like a bit of a tint to it so this is my other little medicine cabinet not as pretty but still has a lot of my favorites and a lot of masks a lot of serums so this is just like a makeup remover for the eyes from Lancome the new face which I have here this one is nice because you can actually leave it on and you can just continue with your skincare routine I have the other one where you like have to rinse off the gel so it got kind of annoying but that one's great. And then we have the this little beauty shield. I'm like testing this to see if it's something that I want to recommend. So this mask by Pharmacy. This, oh, this is so good to really, really brighten and exfoliate. Some moisturizers. Love this guy by Belief. This is the Evercom Global Protection Day Cream. And then we have like a sulfur mask by Dr. Dennis Gross. I've actually had this forever. I should probably get rid of it. I don't know how long I've had that. The detoxifying mask. I actually miss the Glossier Moon Mask. It's so awesome. Kind of reminds me of the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. That it's so so soothing and same with this guy by Ren. I love this the Evercom. Those are all very very comparable They're all great this one the Nordic Skin peel is super strong. I'm not sure if I like that or not. It just feels very like stripping to the skin I don't know kind of like a stridex pad and then what else do I have in here this one? I haven't really played too much with to really give a good review on. Yeah, those are just like some other masks I love this cream by Charlotte Tilba Tilbury, it's so thick and yummy for nighttime, especially in the winter time. And then I have some other products here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so insane, right? So this is a really great dupe for the SK2. It's the Misha Time Revolution, and this one is intensive moist. So it's so, 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 so hydrating. It's a great essence. So this Revital Lash, it's supposed to help with your lashes to grow. I haven't been really, this just came in. So it's an eye makeup remover. The Pure Clay Mask. Super messy, but really great by L'Oreal. This one is the Godmother Enzyme Mask. This is so gross, sorry. Very, very exfoliating. It's awesome. And I love this one too. Another exfoliating lactic one that I would recommend from the drugstore. This is like my favorite drugstore cleanser, the CeraVe. Very hydrating and mild. Doesn't do the best job of taking off makeup, so I would suggest 
like a bioderma before and then like a double cleanse basically this leaves my skin so damn soft you guys this is another one i like these masks by l'oreal this i don't really use too much i don't really love using benzoyl peroxide on my face but sometimes you know if a pimple's not going away i'll bust that out this is my favorite product from ren it's their glycol lactic oh, this is just dreams i love this stuff i would highly 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 recommend this and then if you follow it up with this it's literally heaven your skin is glowing nourished beautiful it's a winning combo in my book. This mask is I from Caudalie. I always try to like give it another chance, but it's just okay to me. And this is a new product over at Ren. It's an AHA body serum. It's gonna give your body some glow. And then up here we have a lot of serums by The Ordinary. Um, that cream, I don't love the way it smells and I think it's super oily, so I need to give it away. I need to like toss this. What else? Oh, this oil from Dermalogica is heaven as well. I love, love, love this oil. It really helps to strengthen your skin's barrier, which is something that I'm always looking to do because as you see, I mess around with so many products, so I love a good nourishing oil. This, Tamanu, this is another really great oil and it's very inexpensive. Uh, make sure that you get 100% pure organic. But yeah, Tamanu is great, great ingredient for the skin. And then some other things that I probably don't really pay attention to because <laughs> it's all the way back there. So those are my two top shelves. I know, no judgment. I know you're judging me. It's okay. It's okay. I totally get it. I never thought of myself as a maximalist, but like... I love my options, guys. I really do. Anyways, I hope this was entertaining for you. I'm actually going to be doing an updated skincare routine, so you guys are going to see exactly how, like, what steps I take with these products. A morning and a nighttime routine, because the ones that I have out are pretty old, and I have definitely changed from that, and my skin has changed. It definitely has improved, so whatever I'm doing now has definitely been working for me, and I want to share that with you guys, because I know you guys love skincare as much as I do, right? subscribe so you won't miss that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!